Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Uh, it's a scary moment for me. Uh, actually, we, John Mitchell, who, is, who couldn't uh, come here, and me, we started this event. Uh, actually, we thought about this event about three years ago. The COVID came. Uh, initially, uh, John asked me because I come from a field of uh, computer science called formal method, which is there are not a lot of people in this thing. So he told me, how many people do you expect? I say about 50. <laughs> uh, so last year we arranged this in Stanford. I think we basically, uh, we basically couldn't uh, accept all the people that wanted. I think there were 400 people there, and uh, I think there were 4,000 attending remotely. Uh, today, I think we have 800 registered. Thank you all. And I don't know how many of you are attending remotely. Uh, so I'm going to do a little introduction, but of course, you're going to hear everything during the, during the, the presentation. Uh, also, maybe I want to acknowledge Byron Gibson. He's not here, but together with John and me, we established a non-profit foundation because the idea is that we want to actually use this community to secure DeFi and this is a non-profit which is actually running this event. So, uh, the, this event is being made, it's a, we are charging a little money, but it's actually, the, we are covering it with, with sponsorship. We are always looking for more sponsorship. Uh, I think we had both last year and this year uh, generous sponsorship from different uh, companies and we like to acknowledge so 12 of bits, this is a, for those of you, I'm sure many people know, this is a leading security company in this, in this field. They have actually contributed for last year, they contributed for this year. They also help us in organizing 101. How many of you were in 101 yesterday? Seems quite a few, that's great. I think 101 is a very nice event because it's an event for basically people entering the space. We are looking for more things. We're also gonna do it next year. The idea is we wanna actually bring more people into the space and do a workshop that was catch the flag. So uh, uh, 12 of bit, they play a key role in 101 and they also actually help us during this event. There's Electric Cap Capital. This is a US based VC firm, which is uh, uh, specialized in developers tools. They are also here. They also uh, help us last year too. Uh, we have Sigma Prime. This is a, a leading security firm, uh, basically uh, securing smart contracts, specifically also about consensus, about generating unit tests. I think they're also here and they also play a key role in uh, 101. Uh, Lido, we're gonna hear from them. Everybody know this is a leading a staking protocol in the Ethereum. And they also uh, contribute to the security of this. And Polygon, it's a layer two. This is also uh, uh, a leading uh, company in layer two. And of course, Cetera, which is the company that we are running. Uh, we also have a, a, the second level of sponsorship. So we have Immunify. Immunify is, a, 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 everybody knows, it's a bug bounty program. They were actually, uh, they, they, were, they, were also, uh, they were also sponsoring last year. Uh, we have Jump Capital, which is a VC firm. Limniscape, which is a VC firm, which is also contributed this year and last year. Limniscape, for those of you who don't know, they also did the Stanford blockchain, which has actually started this event. We have Securum, which is new. So Securum is actually helping us, Rajiv, actually, basically, uh, from the beginning, basically, sort of deciding what topic to include, deciding on the program, and this year they're also sponsoring and we, we can see many volunteers from, from the Secure Realm. And we have Open Zeppelin. Open Zeppelin is a leading security firm. They also was there last year. They are contributing libraries and they're also contributing audit and they also have this uh, product called Forta. And there's other sponsors who are coming and we are always looking for more. So this year we have Code Arena and we will hear about them, uh, uh, basically a, a bounty program for for community-based code review. We have DDAB, who's a leading security firm. 
We have Ethereum Foundation, of course, that needs no introduction, and also Ethereum France, Everat, Morpho, Nethermind, uh, Quantstep, uh, uh, Shield, and Spearbit. So these are, and Spearbit is also a leading security firm uh, that actually is here. Uh, we also have a lot of uh, uh, support from the uh, 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 people who are helping us in shaping the program. And the way we do it, we basically assemble a small steering committee, which is actually now growing. And the steering committee, here I have the names, I'm not going to say, but these are people who are helping us in, in basically deciding what topic to include, deciding about the venue, and many, many other things. Uh, you see the steering committee is growing, which is okay. Uh, we have the core team, so these are people who, which actually help us, it's part of them on the, on, the, on the steering committee, but these are the people who really help us reviewing the article. This year we have 170 articles submitted, and we made a big effort to try to accept as many papers as fast as possible. And we try to see which papers are original. So we have here Rajiv, we have Moodit, we have Uri Kirsten, who's actually helped us in last year actually also assembled the program. We have Nathan uh, from the Ethereum France. We have Kathy Spencer, we have David uh, uh, Stanwick, Yura Sherman, and Jessica Silver Sil uh, Brown from, from Sertora. And we have the fantastic volunteers. Maybe they can stand. They are, they are here, they are a bit anonymous, but uh, some of them are outside. Actually, some of them, I mean, these people actually help us all the way. Actually, even from last year, running the Catch the Flag, so these people help us all the way. I think it's great. It's great for this is something which is very nice about this community that people help each other. They come and help us. And please, if you have questions, uh, uh, help them and ask them. Sorry, or help them too, but ask them. Uh, we have the speakers. I'm not going to be able to to say all of them, but I think we we have really really nice list of speakers from academia, from industry from uh, and actually expert newcomers, people who spoke last year, but people are also, we try to have as many as possible new people. Uh, there are more and more actually. Uh, this is a fantastic list and you will hear about them and we love for you to come. Please just make sure that you give your talk and finish on time. We have session chair, but these are, this is a very, these are a very, very good list of people who can educate us about this space. Uh, there are more here. Uh, this is it. Uh, maybe this is obvious, but I want to say why are we here. So we're here to enjoy Paris, but the, we are here to actually make this space more secure. Okay? And what we want to do, we want to develop techniques, and we want to actually build methods that make this space more secure. We call the nonprofit DeFi first. The idea is we start with DeFi, but we want to make code more secure. And we want to develop techniques that normal developers in Solidity or in other blockchain, they can use to secure their code. And I think we are taking some methods from Web2, but we are also innovating in Web3, and we are developing some things which are not, do not exist in Web2. And you can hear during the talk in, the, in this, the, these two days, you also can see if you, some of you attended 101. And one thing which was very, very good about DeFi Security uh, Summit last year, that some of the talks that were there, there, this was the first time the talk was presented. So for example, last year, Chain Security, they presented the view, the view re-entency for the first time in DeFi Security Summit. And this is great. This is what we want to do. We want to have people who, who tell us something new. And this is what, if people say that what they, want, what they want to do to have here, we want to find more new things here. And we want people here to innovate. So this is what we are trying to do. And you can ask a reasonable question, how good are we doing? Okay, so we started this last year. How many bugs have we prevented? So honestly, I do not know. It seems like despite DeFi Security Summit, bugs still happen, okay? Even we, 
We tried very, very hard, but I think and we should try, but bugs still happen. I don't know if I listed all of them. Uh, thanks to you are here, but these are some of the more known ones, and there are more. But these bugs happen despite DeFi Security Summit, the first DeFi Security Summit, and I imagine that after the second DeFi Security Summit, there will still be some bugs, okay? But we are trying to prevent them. This is our hope with all the things that we are doing, and of course, we are trying to do the best job that we can. What are we going to do different next year? Because everybody is asking us. So I think uh, one thing that we did last year, we did it in Stanford. This year we did it in, in, we are doing it in Paris. Next year we are not sure yet. We have many venues who are proposing. We want to rotate. I think it's a great idea. And I really apologize for those of you who are attending remotely, couldn't get visa. The same problem happened in the US, it's happening here. We are doing our utmost, but I don't know if there is a place that we can choose where visa will not be an issue. But we are trying to make this space as accessible as possible uh, and as affordable as possible, and we'll see next year where we hold this event. Another thing that I think people are complaining in their right, that the schedule is too packed, and we are trying to improve. We will improve next, next year. We also apologize for these people, who, for, the, for the speakers that didn't get enough time to, to speak. It's very, very difficult because we are trying to get more and more, more, and more people to speak. Uh, and, and what we will do next year, we'll have to find a much larger venue and we're gonna have a, a, basically a parallel session. So the idea is that we'll hit, be two sessions so we can accept more talks. And this is what we're gonna do. We, we will look for a place which is affordable and allow us to do a parallel session. Also, the review is getting very, very complicated for us. So we are doing things which academics usually do, some kind of a two-phase review. The idea is that we are getting the, the work, we are trying to, we're getting the submissions, we are trying to see if, they are, if, they are, if the topic is interesting, and then we invest more time in reviewing the originality of the talk and all of this. So we are, we are doing things which are not new. In the beginning, we sort of did it in an ad hoc way. Now we are getting more organized. Next year, we'll be more organized. Another thing that people ask us all the time, why is once a year? So to be honest, this is so much work. So we couldn't do it every month, but we decided to do something more modest every month, which is actually in addition to that. So every month, we're going to have a virtual conference that we basically confer, it will be just three hours, and it will be virtual, and we'll cover a single topic, say monitoring, say, and we actually have many topics, and the community is suggesting many topics. So it will be a single topic with, with people who are experts in this topic, and some t discussion after that. And this will be starting soon. We are working on it, and we love to get more feedback on it. Uh, I think I'm just in time, or even two minutes ahead of time, and I think everybody should do so. Have fun. If you have questions which I can answer, or maybe Rajiv or others, please ask me. There are no questions. So thank you very much. Enjoy.